Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna do a gift guide, but we're gonna kind of do it different this year. I didn't want to do like for your mom, for your dad, for your boyfriend, because I feel like the gifts that I'm gonna recommend are so like non-gender specific and it's just for like the type of person in your life. So I've broken it down into like types of people. When I'm buying gifts, I like to think about things that people wouldn't normally buy for themselves. So, I mean, obviously you know the people that you're buying for best, but you know, there's like, there's things that like people just won't spend their own money on or like don't, don't wanna buy themselves. That's what I like to buy them. Okay, before I get into it, I wanted to put this video out before Black Friday because there are a ton of Black Friday sales and this video is sponsored by Missouri who's having I'm gonna have a big Black Friday sale, so um, we'll get into the pieces in a bit. Definitely check out the Missouri Black Friday sale. We're excited for Black Friday. Okay, so the first one is for the student in your life. This one was actually pretty easy. You know, I've been a student. I know lots of students. So the first one is a coffee machine. <laughs> and I say this because that was something that, well, I didn't drink coffee in university, which is crazy, but I feel like that's something that a student doesn't have the budget to buy themselves. So getting them a nice Nespresso machine or getting them a Keurig or even just like a pour over or a nice French press or something like that, I think is a really nice gift and not something that a student has the budget to spend their money on. The second thing is um, a GX7, which is what I'm filming on right now. I film on a Canon GX7 and one of the things that I love most about my job is that I have like my whole life filmed. So I have like so many great memories and I think being in university, there's so many memories with that and using your phone to capture like 15 seconds, you, you don't get as much as like when you set a camera up. So I think that could be a really nice gift. Also, if any students are, their like aspirations are to vlog or start a YouTube channel or something like that, it could be a really amazing gift. Something on the more budget friendly portion is a reusable coffee mug. I had one in university that I used the whole time I was there for my tea. And um, two ones that I really like are the Sto Stojo, Stoyo? I'll insert a photo. Or the Keep Cup or something along those lines. You could also fill it with some stuff and make a little gift set out of it, but that's more of a budget friendly option for the student in your life. Category number two is for the person who you don't know what to get. For. for the person you don't know what to get for the person who's hard to buy for that is me I feel like for a lot of people because if I need something I, I buy for myself So this can be a hard category. The first thing I think is jewelry It's super easy to kind of like to to see what color people wear in jewelry I mix and match my jewelry But some people only wear gold some people only wear silver and I could like literally tell you all my friends and what they wear Because it's something that you see all the time. I have a lot of great pieces from Missouri here um, Again, they are having a black friday sale and all the pieces will be linked down below first I want to give a shout out to this diamond necklace that I wear every single day I literally never take it off. It has actually has like a it's really like moved and made it to its nice length like there's a huge ball in the back of it but it's like the perfect length on me now i love this piece and i think it's a beautiful piece that you can get for someone that they can just wear all the time i wear this croissant ring all the time it's a it's like it's the gold for meal one so definitely more budget friendly than getting you know the 14 karat gold or whatever and then i have this i feel like this would definitely be for someone who you want to drop a little more cash on this Eternity band, this diamond eternity band. Those are pieces that I wear all the time, but I did get some new pieces that I want. Oh, fuck my, fuck my earrings too. These are pearl earrings, which are so cute. I think these are like, I feel literally like Audrey Hepburn in these. They're so classy. They're so pretty and elegant and so timeless. So they're definitely a piece that you could get for someone that they could just have in their collection forever. I feel like now I really understand earrings. <laughs> I just got my ears pierced last year. I don't have a lot of pairs of earrings, so you know, there's it's just it's just a really nice gift to get someone. I'm gonna go through some of the other things that I wear every day. Most of my everyday jewelry is Missouri. I get a lot of questions about these little huggies. I wear all the time. They're perfect, like everyday earrings. They don't get caught on things. You can sleep on the sleep with them. I know a lot of people have no problem sleeping in whatever earrings, but I'm scared. I got this little cuff. If someone has like multiple piercings, this could be a really great earring to get for their multiple piercings. And I do switch between gold and silver. So I got a diamond second, this is for my second hold. It's like a huggy, am I wearing something my second hold? Yeah, 
So I have one in gold in my second hole from Missouri, but I also got the silver one. For rings, this ring is like a new one and I think it's so pretty. It actually should go maybe on this finger. So pretty and so sparkly. I really love the shape and I think it's a really good like stacking ring. You could stack it with even this and do like a really nice stack. I also got this ring for my thumb. That's the thing, Missouri has like so many different pieces for literally like any type of person who wears any type of jewelry. They have like super dainty, they have more chunky, something that I'm really, I actually might just wear this, but like this really nice chunky silver piece if someone wears silver. Or this was I think their collab with Frame Denim. This piece is really nice. It's like a nice chunky gold necklace that is such a statement piece. So if you're trying to buy for this person and you don't know what to get them, look at the jewelry they're wearing, look at the type and the color. So maybe it's like they wear gold dainty jewelry and that's their thing. You'll find that on Missouri. Or maybe they look, wear silver chunky jewelry. Missouri will also have that. Everything that I just showed you and all of my absolute favorite pieces, everyday items will be linked down below and you can check that out. And yeah, make sure you check them out on their black, for their Black Friday sale, which is happening. Early access for you, just found this out. Early access for you on November 23rd through the link. So the actual Missouri Black Friday sale starts on Black Friday, but for you guys, I got you early access. So click the link down below and you will only be able to access the early sale through the link. Very important. So click the link, check it out. The next thing is a subscription. This is something that I really like to get people and I have a few people on my list this year that I think subscriptions would be great for. Like an app subscription, like a meditation app subscription could be really cool, 10% happier. There is a Toronto based company called Inward Breathwork. I'll leave a link down below to check it out. They have like a place in Toronto, but it, you can. they also have online. So I'll leave that link down below. Very, very cool. Kiva, I talked about Kiva last year. It's not a subscription, but it's like a charity where you loan money to developing people in developing nations so that they can grow their business. Or any sort of like service or subscription, facials, stuff like that, I think are really great gifts for people where you're just like not sure. Like Sharin got me for my birthday last year. She got me a, like a water pool spa day. We haven't been able to go cause COVID and that's gross, but <laughs> that could be really cool as well. Books. When I was little, um, I hated getting books. I just, I used to get the, I think I liked it for a little. And then I was like a stupid little spoiled brat. And I was like, I don't want books anymore. I love getting books now. I love people's recommendations of books. If the person has Goodreads, great idea to go on their Goodreads and see what they want to read and maybe get them one of those books. My personal favorites right now are Conversations with God. This is book two, but this whole set is really good. If someone's into spirituality, getting them this whole set could be really nice. How to Win Friends and Influence People. This is a classic. It's literally was published in like 1915 or something. Amazing. And then Notebooks. Always nice to get a notebook. I um, just got into notebooks recently. And uh, notebooks are great. You get the little pen set, stuff like that. And the last thing for this person who is hard to buy for is a cashmere sweater. This is our uncle cashmere sweater. We just came out with it this month. And we have a promotion going on until the 25th that if you buy one, you get a discount on your second one because it's a hug. And you. the campaign is you get a hug, you give a hug. A cashmere sweater is just like super timeless and I feel like it's something that, you know, you will have in your wardrobe forever. So a really great gift. It's not something that has to like, is super fitted. You can kind of like guess their size. And this is the gray one. We also have a cream one, but this is the uncle cashmere sweater. It's literally so cozy and so soft. And I had the sample, this is a new one, but I had the sample for like two months before it came out and the sample like got better with time. Like I washed it, I was wearing it and it's like got, it just got cozier. So I'm actually kind of sad that I had to get the sample back and I get this new one. One of my favorite sweaters in my closet right now. Okay, this is for the person with really great hair. Everyone has one of those people in their lives, whether it's like this person's hair is fucking incredible. My mother obviously thinks of me like that because she got me this product last year. This is a hair turban and it's like a quick dry hair towel and you just like, <laughs> this is actually the one I use. You just like wrap your hair in it after the towel, after the towel, after the shower and dries your hair faster and like not as, your hair isn't as frizzy. 
I love this thing. I use it every time my hair gets wet. It's incredible. If you want to drop a little bit more money, Dyson products, the Dyson Supersonic, the Dyson Corral, the Dyson Airwrap, all three amazing. I gifted one to my cousin last year. I've gifted them to uh, my mom. Just such a good gift to give someone. It's something that's gonna last for a long time. It's something that they're gonna use every day and think of you when they use it. And number three is like a hair oil or something along those lines. The Gizu hair oil is like a really luxury, luxurious hair oil that I feel like a lot of people don't wanna like drop money on. So that could be a really nice gift to give someone. Way has a nice hair oil, but some little like luxury hair product could be really great. Great. <laughs> And this is for the cook in your life. I feel like everyone has someone who loves cooking or is a good cook or just someone like that in their life. The first one is the always pan. I don't know about you, but I've had 500 ads for this pan. And like when I first saw it, I didn't need it, but now I need it because I've seen the ads so many times. It just looks like a really cool pan. It's super cute. You can do so many things with it. And I think it would be such a great gift to give someone. I personally think I want that. <laughs> My mom got me cookware last year for Christmas and it was, it was just such a good gift because it wasn't something that I really wanted to spend a lot of money on or wanted to buy for myself. I also, I don't know that much about cookware. So having someone get that for me was great. A knife set, kind of the same thing. You would get a, a beautiful knife set or like a knife block or something like that. And um, cookbooks. Cookbooks are, are just such good gifts. I mean, pretty self-explanatory there. This is for the person who loves being cozy. Everyone has one of those people as well. First one is a sweatsuit or pajamas. Sweatsuits were like are the thing of this year. They're literally like, you know, every, every company has a sweatsuit going. We at Uncle have a sweatsuit and we are also coming up with new colors in the sweatsuit. So if you want to check that out, pajamas are also great. I'll link some of my favorites below, but like getting someone pajamas like this, these are the sleeper pajamas where they're like pink gingham. They're like really cute. Not something that someone I think, you know, would normally buy themselves, but getting them this cute little PJs, I think would be a really nice gift. Candles are a classic holiday staple. Um, we have a candle at uncle called half past seven. It is my all time favorite scent. I would bathe in that scent. Like I love it so much. And it's not one of those scents that's like overpowering or gives you a headache. It's very calming and it's very cozy. Sheets, not something you would think of for a gift. I think it's just a great gift. I don't think that people buy themselves sheets very often. White Terry is a great sheet company. Their sheets are so cozy. Some of my favorite. I would love to receive sheets. I think it's a great, especially if like someone just moved into their first apartment or something. Mm, that's a great gift. And body sets. Necessaire is like a really aesthetically pleasing body company. I don't, I don't know what it's called. They have like cream and body wash or like bath sets. Those are so great to, to receive. Not that we're going to be going to many parties this year for the hostess in your life. I feel like the classic thing to get a hostess is like alcohol. You know, you don't want to be like the hundredth per person that gives them alcohol. So some things that I thought of are vintage glasses, like vintage coupes. So you can get them for very inexpensive. Um, my friend actually has a vintage store in Toronto, but getting someone something like vintage, a vintage coupe, vintage glasses, or a vintage like cake stand or something like that could be a really cute gift. And you can, you know, easily show up with that at the party. Coffee or tea sets, also great. I think Goldie has a matcha making set or like a super milk making set or even getting a matcha set with the whisk and everything. Great gift. And board games. 2020, this is the revival of board games because we're all inside more often. I think getting someone like a really fun Monopoly or something that they can do during this like kind of second lockdown that we're all going into because it's gonna be winter. I think that's really, really fun. And then the last category is for the homebody which is pretty much everyone this year. <laughs> but for the people who really love spending time at home, and these are kind of things that, you know, we're gonna have to, we're gonna be doing at home, a workout set, gyms are closed in Toronto anyway. So getting someone like a yoga mat, 
those uh, resistance bands, maybe some weights, something like that could be a really nice gift. You could also like bundle those things together and give them to them. Um, also like a water bottle could be really nice adding that all together. Makeup sets, these are classic. A lot of people love to play with makeup when you know they're sitting at home and so many great brands come out with really great makeup sets. I was gonna show you one for Benefit, but I forgot it. So can't show you that one, but there's so many fun ones. So, you know, figure out what brand you're person likes the best and you can give them that. And tech things, one of them, which I actually think is a really amazing gift is like a Chromecast. I think Chromecast just came out with a new version where it's like Chromecast, but also as a remote or something like that, like a Dyson, pure air and humidifier sort of thing, a nest thing, a, a ring doorbell, like anything like that. Personally, like I would probably never think of buying for myself, but if I received it, I would definitely want to use it. Thank you guys so much for joining my holiday gift guide. I hope you guys liked this format. If you did, remember to give the video a thumbs up. Have you ever heard me say that before? And also subscribe if you're new. Um, I put out videos one to two times a week, depending on the week. But it's gonna get better, I promise. Remember to follow me on Instagram if you haven't already. Add a like or shot and peace and love. Love y'all. Bye.